Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time checking me out, I basically talk about money and money related topics here. Things like credit cards, credit unions, stocks, crypto, real estate, side hustles, travel hacks. If any of that stuff is what you're into, don't delay. Do it today. Smash the like button, subscribe, share while you're at it, and pop that notification bell upside the head so you know when I got something new dropping. By doing that, you allow me to help to get this message out to a wider audience and it lets the YouTube algorithm know that more people are interested in hearing about the information that I want to share. Hey, I thank you for that so much in advance because you could be doing anything with your time and you're choosing to spend a few minutes with me. And I promise these videos will always be kept short because I value your time so much. So let's jump right into it. Today's video is a credit card review. And the reason I chose this credit card is because of the limit potential that it gives you. So I'm all about access to capital. I think that that's a huge barrier from taking a poor person to a wealthy person is having self-belief, a plan of action and access to capital. Okay. So the card I'm going to be reviewing is the bank of America custom cash card, bank of America custom cash rewards card. I'm sorry. And the reason I chose it is because this sucker has a limit that goes up to $95,000 y'all. That's some serious money that can really change anybody's financial trajectory. So without further delay, let's jump right into the nuts and bolts of this card. Okay, so the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Uh, some of the key features, we have a $200 online cash reward bonus. We got 3% cash back category. We also got a 2% cash back category. All the other purchases will be at 1% cash back. We got 0% APR for the first 15 months of this card. Uh, and after that, it goes to a pretty standard APR, anywhere from say 15 to 25%. It also has a chance to get uh, a bonus on those rewards for the preferred reward members. So, you know, and my favorite thing, no annual fee. Those are probably my three favorite words in the credit card world, no annual fee. So all in all, I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. Let's go to the next slide and see if the good times keep rolling. So let's talk about the $200 that you can get as far as an online cash rewards bonus offer. It's pretty simple, actually. If you spend $1,000 in purchases in the first three bill cycles or 90 days, you're going to get a $200 statement credit to your account. Let's also touch on some of the nuts and bolts of the introductory APR offer. So it's 0% for 15 bill cycles uh, for any and for any uh, balance transfers made within the first two months, within the first 60 days of opening your account after the APR intro special ends, you're going to get a variable APR based on your credit worthiness. It's going to be between about 15 and 25 percent and a three percent fee or ten dollar minimum applies to all balance transfers so you need to know that it's going to be three percent or ten dollar minimum example if you do a one thousand dollar balance transfer from another account you're talking about paying 30 bucks okay so that's three percent or ten dollar minimum whichever is more remember the bank is always going to charge you with the way the thing that gives them more money right so far though not bad. I'm still liking it so far. Let's go to the next slide. Let's keep this thing rolling. So I personally think it's always good to see how uh, other customers are feeling about a particular card. And in this case, people are really liking it. It has a rating of 4.9 out of five stars, which is really good. And that's just kind of telling you what other customers feel about the card. That's pretty good. Let's go over and figure out how you earn some of this cash back because I'm a big cash back person. So let's see how we can get the maximum on the cash back. So it looks like you get 3% in one category that you can choose every single month. And you got a choice between gas stations, online shopping, dining, travel, drugstores like Walgreens and CVS and home improvement places like Home Depot and Lowe's. 
You also get a 2% cashback category, which is set at grocery stores and wholesale clubs. You get 1% cashback on everything else. And you get 3% and the 2% category for the first $2,500 combined in those two categories uh, each quarter. So in other words, if you spend $1,500 in your 3% category, and then another $1,500 in your 2% category, for the first $2,500 that you spent in that quarter, you're gonna get the three and 2% and the additional $500, you'd only make 1%, but you still would be getting something. So uh, also, again, you get to change the 3% category every single month if you choose to do so. That's a huge perk, because if your spending habits are gonna change, then you can easily go and uh, change the category. Let's take a look at how you can redeem some of this cash. Okay, you can redeem your cash in a few different ways. You can get a statement credit. Uh, my personal favorite, you can get deposits made directly to a Bank of America checking and savings account if you're a Bank of America banking customer, or you can get a credit to a qualified or eligible retirement account with Merrill Lynch. So the retirement accounts with Merrill Lynch, they qualify, the, the redemptions start at $25 if you set it up as an automatic redemption. So in that, in that case, every time you reach $25, I guess it would do a credit to your retirement account. So those are some pretty good ways to be able to uh, get some cash back and it gives you different options if you want to your money credited a different way than maybe the next person. Some people might want their retirement account. Some people might just want their balance paid down a little bit and get a statement credit. So let's go over, uh, let's go over the, the pros, you know, not very too many cons, but let's just go over what I liked about the card. $95,000, that's number one. $95,000 of a potential limit. You could have an almost $10,000 uh, utilization and still have your credit utilization under 10 percent number two my three favorite words in the credit card world no annual fee and then the 200 dollars cash back for spending a thousand bucks in the first three bill cycles thousand dollars isn't that much if you're just using it for some of your regular bills you can achieve that pretty easily and it's like getting a 20 percent cash back on a thousand dollars a three percent category for cash back that you can change every month to me is pretty you know it's pretty it's a pretty good feature and then having a set two percent on the groceries and wholesale clubs is also good too also some cards only give you up to fifteen hundred dollars per month that you can get the big bonuses for this card gives you up to twenty five hundred dollars and it also gives you as a select member an ability to earn more rewards on top of what you're also already given all in all I think this card is a go, guys. What do you think? Do you have this card? Do you like this card? Do you recommend it? Do you think that it's something you should take a pass on? From everything that I'm reading in my research, I'm saying this sucker is one that I would apply for if I was in the market for a new credit card right now. But I'd love to know what you think. And that's pretty much all I got on this one. I give it two thumbs up. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'll find out soon in your comments and, and the other uh, questions that you may have about it. So that's all I got. On that note, I'm about to get out of here, but I do approve of the message that I just shared with you. And on that note, until the next time, the Bargain Brothers out. Peace.